Yeah, so to provide a little bit of background on myself, um, my parents uh, were were born in, and and uh, raised in in Mexico in in the state of Michoacan, and they migrated both when they were uh, teenagers. Uh, my dad came on his own. My um, mom came with with her uh, with her family, and uh, they met here in uh, in the U.S. in uh, in Wilmington, uh, which is a, a neighborhood in in L.A. County. Um, and growing up there. Um, uh, I grew up with, uh, two older sisters, one older brother, then it's me and two younger brothers. So a family of, of six and we're part of a much larger family. We grew up very close to my mom's, uh, my mom's family. She has, uh, nine, uh, well, she's, they're nine. So she has eight siblings and grew up very closely with, with cousins, um, uh, in, a, in a, in a much, uh, highly, uh, Mex Mexican, uh, neighborhood. Uh, so grew up with, with you know with, with a lot of um, um, well with, with a lot of culture and and you know exposure to uh, to to Mexican traditions and even going back to Mexico you know I, I got to eat a lot of the same food and you know celebrate a lot of the same the same events. Um, but my parents were you know they're both as being immigrants had very little education. Uh, my um, Father, I think, went through some elementary school. My mother went through some middle school uh, before uh, they had to, had to work or, or help at home with, with the family. And uh, they had um, uh, some pretty tough jobs. And um, so so growing up, it was, you know, I think um, both my parents had played a very hard work ethic. And uh, despite not having a whole lot of education, uh, in particular, my mom placed a lot of emphasis in our schooling. And this is for all our, all our, um, all our, all my siblings. Um, she really pushed us hard when we wouldn't do in school. She would, you know, get get a lot of discipline and, and uh, really made it, uh, you know, provided a lot of incentives for us to do well in school. Uh, then going into um, when I was going into saving through um, well through all my school, including including through high school, I can say I was ever one of the top students. I mean, I, I tried. To do well, there wasn't a big motivation to, you know, go all out for um, for 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 school, especially in, in the neighborhood where I grew up. Um, but I did overall fairly well, especially like in, in math and, and science classes, and that's probably because I I uh, enjoyed, uh, I liked math, and um, to some extent, I was able to understand it. Growing up in 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 that area in Wilmington, it was, uh, you know, schools are not, uh, you know, I, I think the schools are perhaps known more for the number of students that drop out than the number of students that go on to, uh, to universities. But I had the, um, the, the fortunate experience of having older siblings uh, that went on to, uh, to college, especially started with my older sister who went to UC Irvine. And kind of set a pathway for us to you know start thinking about college and, and getting us in, in a little bit in the college mindset, um, but it still wasn't like a you know a, a, a for sure thing. We I think that kind of set a path for us, and um, so when I finished high school, you know obviously I, I applied to some university to to some universities, uh, mostly around the LA area. I did apply to you serve one where my sister had one and, and got in. It was the only UC that I applied to. And um, my the, my sister had gone there. She had she was a few years older. She so had graduated, and my brother was actually a student there. So I I went to um, to uh, I decided to go to uh, to UC Irvine to uh, to uh, for my uh, to start my college experience. My first year in college was a, a little bit, I would say it was a, a little bit rough. And, you know, from many perspectives, one is, um, you know, just the level of preparation you get in, in, a, in, in, a, in an urban high school. Um, it's not to par with what other students might be seeing. And, and it's actually something I'm experiencing first time now when I see, you know, my children, the schools they're going to. Um, and, you know, the type of curriculum that they're engaging in. Um, so it, it was a challenge, but I think what really made a difference for me was that first year before I started, I was involved in the summer program. Um, I was involved in the camp, the California Alliance for Minority Participation at, um, Irvine. It was one of the first years that it started. And I believe the program is still around. 
Uh, we even had uh, a couple of her, uh, it, even here in uh, UC San Diego. And it, um, it really helped with the transition uh, into uh, the university. It was, you know, it was a core group. It was dedicated to STEM. So it was a core group of, of students, a lot from, you know, similar communities to where I came from. Uh, to get us get us like a, a, a kind of an introduction to college and and bring us up to speed a little bit and so that was um you know my experience in meeting a lot of different um, college students and um it was also when because of the stem program i got to meet a lot of engineering students a lot of uh, students from different areas i went in turbine as a math major i had no idea why uh, I just said, well, you know, I'm doing good at math. I'll do math. But uh, then talking to some of the students during the summer there, some of the, the mentors, some of the, the upper class the junior seniors um, uh, who, who were mentoring us, I got to learn a lot more about engineering. And that's just sounded a lot more interesting. You know, it's actually using um, math and science and applying it to solve uh, practical problems. So I decided to switch my major to engineering um, but let alone, I, I didn't have any idea about what different engineering fields were. So actually, I decided to, to go into civil engineering. And, and I think that's probably to some extent because most of the students I talked to were doing civil engineering uh, and focusing on structures. So designing buildings, bridges, and other, other types of, of structures. I think this camp, um, this camp program um, really got me uh, introduced into the concept of what happens at a research university, uh, what is research and so forth. And it introduced me to this concept of research. We had a lot of talks from, from different professors that would talk about the work they were doing. Um, but what really was a turning point for me, I think, in, in, uh, in changing my pathway at UC Irvine was uh, mentorship. Um, I struggled a lot of my first year or two at, at, at East Irvine with classes and, you know, just general lack of, 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 of interest. You know, I was studying, it was very challenging. And, um, and um, my sophomore year, I had the opportunity to meet uh, Roberto Villaverde, a professor in, in, um, of, in civil engineering, um, who's my academic advisor. I had to go see him. I was forced to see him to, to, uh, so he could sign off on my classes. And I would ask him about research every time I would see him. And finally, he gave me an, an opportunity to work on, on some coding. And um, I guess I did a, a, a decent job that he then invited me to join another research project uh, in the lab where I got to do um, experiments. Um, and this changed my path in, in, in many ways. And one is, you know, having a mentor, someone I could talk to about, you know, what is engineering? What are the possibilities of different realms we could do? But also being introduced into the laboratory and being able to do experiments, um, you know, in, in structural engineering, in earthquake engineering, where we would essentially be making models of buildings, uh, breaking them, we shake them with the, with, the, with the shake table. And it was, to me, it was very much like a hobby. The other thing that it did is that it got me much more interested in, you know, understanding what I was seeing in the lab and that was then being explained through my classes. So it, it had a huge impact on increasing my interest in, in the theories and everything I was learning in the classes. And then that led me to doing a lot much better in my, in my coursework. So from, you know, if I consider, for example, my first, first two years, especially my first year at, at, at UCI, where I was, I was just getting by uh, to later in my, you know, junior and senior year after having this research experience, I was, you know, I was, uh, recognized by a lot of the professors as one of the top students in the program. Another big impact that, you know, the mentorship had, this is, uh, that had on me and having a, a research advisor and a research mentor as an undergrad was that, um, well, my uh, mentor, uh, Roberto Villaverde, encouraged me to go to, uh, to grad school, you know, something I hadn't really, hadn't really thought of. He encouraged me to, you know, go for a master's, but also consider a, a, a doctorate, a PhD in, in engineering. And so, you know, with this um, guidance, I applied to several grad schools. Um, actually, I got in. I think most schools I applied to, a lot of them top schools, and I ended up going to MIT for my master's. Um, 
it was a, a, a very interesting experience there. I got to meet some amazing people, very bright uh, individuals. Um, and I completed my master's there with, 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 the, um, with the thesis. But one thing I did miss um, was doing the experimental work. Um, I, I miss being in the lab, being hands-on. And, and, and MIT, especially in the area of structures, is more of an analytical school. Um, so at that time, I decided to apply, you know, to I wanted to continue studying. Uh, and all this time, you know, keeping in contact with, with, uh, with, with my mentor, um, I decided to apply to UC Berkeley, which at the time had the largest earthquake simulator. Um, or essentially an earthquake shake table where I could build larger models of uh, buildings and shake them in, uh, on the shake table. So I went to um, UC Berkeley and um, I, I think I was very fortunate to actually have the opportunity to work on experiments on the shake table and many other types of experiments there uh, that then um, you know, further uh, increased my interest in research. And uh, and I and then when I was close to finishing up, I started to consider careers uh, in as as a professor in, in academic in academics. Following my um, my uh, undergraduate research experience and in going through graduate school, my research experience uh, is really centered on on uh, structural and earthquake engineering. How we how do we design buildings to better resist earthquakes? And when I started, even as an undergraduate student, I was um, in the lab um, making a, a models of buildings and putting um, rubber uh, de devices, putting uh, dampers or essentially shock absorbers in the building to see how they would reduce the response to earthquakes. And that's very similar to what the work I'm still doing now. I look at uh, mainly uh, applying seismic isolation in um, in buildings, a way of putting uh, the bearing on, on on sliding bearings or rubber bearings that is in, that limit the amount of shaking uh, as the ground shakes. They limit the amount of shaking that is transferred up to the building, and it, it helps to protect it from from earthquake damage. As some advice for students pursuing STEM, I would say is, um, you know, it is a lot of work, first of all. I mean, it's not going to come easy. Uh, but, you know, if it's something you enjoy doing, uh, it's not going to seem like a lot of work, right? So um, I would say try a lot of different things. Try a lot of, you know, explore different options in engineering and see what really uh, piques your interest uh, and, and pursue that. You know, it, it's something that I I feel like, you know, I think, you know, in order to be successful at something that you do, well, one, you really got to like what you're doing to be uh, to be able to um, to uh, put the effort into it. And um, and I think if you're good at it, you're going to enjoy it even more. Right. So uh, it, it takes really a lot of hard work. Um, I mean, it, it took a lot of hard work to you know, get to where the point where I was able to, you know, understand and, and, you know, be able to um, stand out in, in my classes, uh, especially coming from um, a very low level of preparation. Um, so, yeah, I would say like probably the most, one of the most important things to be very successful at what you do is, is to, you know, enjoy what you're doing. And, um, and yeah, it's going to take a lot of work. If you put in that hard work now, you know, it could lead to much more opportunities in the future.